Is it clear? Yes, it's very clear. Thank you. So uh, just a brief, another little deep dive into repricing central. We are competitor-based repricing, which means we only change your price based on the targeted competitor's price change. And we are not algorithmic repricer, we are rule-based repricer. That means we just don't change your price based on our own algorithm. We change your price based on the competition and also based on the rule that you configure. And we are able to uh, reprice up to five minutes. So keep that in mind, repricing five minutes, that doesn't mean we check on each of your listing every five minutes. Repricing speed five minutes or 15 minutes means when we receive the price change report from the Amazon end to the Pico end, we're able to finish the calculation within five minutes and send it back to Amazon. Or we are able to finish the calculation, price change calculation within 15 minutes and send it back to Amazon. That's the idea of repricing five minutes and 15 minutes. And we're able to um, support USCA uh, Mexico, Japan, and also EU marketplaces for the repricing central. Okay. Can, can you and, go back a slide real quick, Jimmy? Yeah. I'd like to talk about, break that down a little bit further for our, uh, for the people listening, because there's a misconception in the Amazon community that um, Amazon only updates your repricing every 15 minutes. And so to say for be cool to say they'll do repricing on a five minute basis is just a marketing hype. Can you speak about that? Remember we talked about that in Las Vegas where mm. it, it's the difference between, uh, we'll just talk about, just dive in a little bit deeper on the difference between five minute and 15 minute repricing. If Amazon's okay. API only accepts price changes on a 15 minute cycle, why do I need five minute repricing? Well, do they have a like official statement to tell you that they only accept the uh, 15 minutes rate pricing cycle? No, we see that, but there's no official statement. So what I know about this, actually there's an official term for this, what you just described, is called, they call that leaky bucket algorithm. Mm -hmm. It's called throttle. So it's, they will only accept a certain amount of the request change price request change to the Amazon end. Right. So imagine you have a bucket and there's a hole here. And imagine all the price change goes into the bucket mm. and only a certain amount will be accepted. And you need to wait until, you know, there's a cycle here. So Amazon won't just accept all your price change if it's way too frequent. You need to wait until the cycle to replenish the quota. They call the quota. So every price change will consider one quota. If the price change has been very, very intense, Amazon will only uh, accept a certain uh, quota, and then Amazon will digest the rest of the quota. And that is true, but they don't specify the limitation of the quota. Okay. They are very vague about that. And right now, from what we have been seeing, we do notice that happened before. So on our end, we will adjust the... Uh, big submission frequency. So we are able still uh, to reprice you every five, uh, reprice your listing within five minutes, not every five minutes, within five minutes, and we are able to reflect the price change on the Amazon end. So Great. what you see, there is actually a special term for that. There's a situation for that, but they didn't specify the actual limitation for the US marketplace. Okay, that's very helpful, thank you. Okay, for the inventory lab integration, and. Um, you know, the most important thing on the Bitcoin or on any other repricer will be setting your minimum price. And to set your minimum price, we need to know the code. That's why we have this collaboration with Inventory Lab Integrate, uh, with Inventory Lab Management Tool. Uh, it's an integration where we just sync the cost, only cost data from the Inventory Lab. So once you uh, connect the NWS with Bitcoin and also you enable the integration on both end, on the Bitcoin end, and also on the inventory end, we are constantly synchronizing your cost data from the inventory lab end to the Bitcoin end. And you are able to use that data to configure the right mean and max prices. So profit calculator, we have the cost now, and we can use that cost to, uh, to configure the right mean and max prices. And you can do reverse calculation 
by using the proper calculator. This is more like when you are selling some high value uh, product, you want to fine tune your min and max prices, you can use proper calculator. You can just input the, um, your cost and your ideal ROI and just hit refresh. The system will uh, directly calculate the ideal min uh, the minimum price for you. Or you can just input the minimum price with the cost. The system will directly take in Amazon fee into consideration and tell you the corresponding ROI and estimate profit. That's for the profit calculator. And also, we cannot just let you to uh, fine tune every listing's min and max prices. That would be time consuming. That's why we have book action where you can just uh, select a multiple listings or all the listing on one page. And you can just use book action to set your minimum price and max price based on a certain metrics. So what I find most efficient will be uh, if you see the image down below, there's a ROI and profit margin. So you actually can set a minimum, minimum and maximum price based on certain profit margin and ROI for multiple listings at once. That will drastically uh, save your time when it comes to setting up min and max prices. Okay, so customizable repricing rule, uh, because we are always are very proud of our repricing rule because it's highly customizable. So when it comes to comparing the algorithmic repricer or role-based repricer, the role-based repricer will just give you the total control uh, about how you want uh, the quote to reprice your listing. So we have very uh, lots of different scenarios. Right, uh, recently we just added more just to want to make the role more intuitive, more flexible. And then you are able to change your rule, adjust your rule based on your current uh, Amazon operation. If you want to liquidate your certain listing, you can use a very aggressive rule. If you just want to price match with FBA, just want to be in the buy box rotation, uh, you can just contact us. We will help you to configure that rule. And you are able to you know, exclude the back order seller. You can target, I only want to compete with uh, so that with certain feedback count or feedback rating, we can do that as well. And also with our rule, you're able to uh, target and respond to different seller with different fulfillment type. You can price match with FBA. You can price above with FBM. If you're FBM, you can price below FBA. Or when it comes to competing with Amazon, you can just tag along price below. You know, Amazon will also win. We know that. Okay. I have a um, feeling that once we get there, that the, the uh, chat board is going to light up with all kinds of questions when you start going through the rules. Okay, uh, don't worry, I will just walk you guys through it. But for the scheduler, because uh, before I do notice that people are asking about what's the differences between inform.com, uh, another algorithmic repricer, mm -hmm. and be cool. I do prepare a lot of answer for that, and this is one of the features that we have, whereas uh, inform they don't. Uh, scheduler? Essentially, uh, you're able to stop repricing from a certain time of the day and start repricing from the certain time of the day. And during this time frame, we will stop your repricing activity and then we will be able to use a new price. So you can imagine during like from 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. you're sleeping and you are able to just set a time here, uh, like a scheduler over here. So during from 1 a.m. to 7 a.m., you can use max price. Why do we need that? Because when it comes to repricing, uh, we often encounter perpetual racing to the bottom repricing rule, uh, repricing war. And with the scheduler, we are able to bring the price back up. It's kind of a way to disrupt that kind of racing to the bottom phenomenon. Actually, this is just one of the way we bring a price back up. We we actually find that very helpful, Jimmy. Every night, we, uh, Kim and I have it set around two two a.m. Central Time to raise our prices back to our max price to sort mm -hmm. of let the market reset a little bit before. Yeah, we and also you can imagine other people they are using their own price as well, and you can use robot to uh, fight against robot. Um, if you bring a price back up, their repricer will get triggered. They will follow you. We saw that uh, multiple times right now. It has been a very effective way to bring uh, to level up the price. Okay. Lastly, that uh, we have various support channel. You can contact us on live chat. So for that live chat, just go to our main website 
and you can find the chat box on the right bottom right and also we have facebook support group you can just go there leave a question our experienced well-trained uh, representative will get back to you right away or you can just write an email to us we'll reply back to you within one business day so uh through any other channel you are able to just contact us if you need phone support we will uh, get in touch with you we'll uh, contact you by phone and then later give you a zoom link okay and also you can follow us you can see Kim and Perry right there on, on our YouTube channel or if you want to follow more Amazon news, you can go to our blog as well. Okay, that is a short presentation for our repricing rule. Do you guys have any other questions? Is there any data regarding the effects of the scheduler on profit margin realized? That's a very good question. Jerry wants to know if you have any data to show, like any, any studies that you've done to show that uh, resetting your pricing at night helps. Any data to show how effective that could be? Yes. Have, have you had any feedback or measured any measurable data from your customers? I can tell you a case. The case is uh, we are helping a customer to fight with a seller that is seller fulfilled prime. And then the, our user is FBA. So when it comes to seller fulfilled prime, and also the seller fulfilled prime is using a repressor as well. So we constantly see they just keep racing to the bottom. When it comes to FBA fighting with seller for prime, we just recommend recommend our user to just price match. And later during the night, we just recommend them to use scheduler to bring the price back up and gotcha. then race to the bottom from the max to the main again every single day. But you do get to see that if your targeted competitor they're using a repricer as well, they will follow you. Okay. So the price will be raised, but uh, I'm very sorry that I cannot show you any data or I cannot show you any account. I do can show you how to set everything up though, because uh, the reason I cannot show you that will contain the privacy issue, yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, and Kim and I can actually speak to this in the group later uh, because we've been playing with this and she'll have a better sense. She's in the chat now, she just joined us. Kim, if you can, just share in the chat with anybody what what effects positive or negative the scheduler had i think we've had a good experience with it but she keeps a much sharper eye on that data than i do are you ready to walk through the rules because i think that's what people are waiting for how to how to set up be cool and what i'd like to do here is bring kim on to the audio and video because she's much more technically savvy about how be cool works and she'll be able to help guide the discussion um, if, if that's okay with you Totally fine, yeah. Okay, wonderful. So before we get started on the rules, hon, we've been for over a year resetting our prices in the middle of the night and having them go back up to the max, like Jimmy just talked about. Yes. Would you care to comment on any, do we know, have we measured it? Is it just something cool that we do? Yeah, right. Um, I have not measured the results of it. I just really like the idea of resetting prices every night and giving other sellers the opportunity to follow us up and then we become competitive again very quickly. So I don't think we're missing any window, any sales in that very small window. And I think there's a potential to strengthen prices overall. So we haven't measured it, but we're, we're using it because it seems like a no-lose scenario. Got it, thank you. All right, Jimmy, you have a walkthrough for Be Cool setting up our, your, the rules-based repricing central. Yeah, right away. Let me go to the demo side right now. Sure. 